Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex, and today we're going to be comparing the 2021 Big Tex trailer versus a 2020 Big Tex trailer. Now, I'm doing a little bit of maintenance, so don't pay attention to that, but you might think that, hey, Alex, hold on. 2020 versus 2021 not much could possibly have changed and that's where you'd be wrong because here's the thing when you're a big company producing lots of trailers uh, and across multiple facilities like big techs right you're a big company like big techs it's really hard to change even the smallest things generally speaking when you're buying a trailer you want to go for the biggest most recognizable company because usually that means they have the most support right the most parts availability stuff like that usually that's the benefit of going when you're going with a like a smaller company smaller manufacturer um, usually it's harder to get parts or support or they do weird things right like my hefty if you go back and watch my older videos but so uh, first thing I want to start off with is look look at the um, right here let's look at the decals right here June 2020 right there you see that whereas this one is June 2021 right here you see that first thing on the list is right here the wire harness okay this is what plugs into your truck up until 2020 it was always a regular black harness with the cold weather harness which is the blue harness i believe that was an option i think now big tex does now don't quote me on this but i think big tex now makes it that the cold weather harness is just uh it's stock right it comes uh, included it's um standard equipment or some um, what am i looking for what's the word um right here look see see the blue harness right here it but it comes not as an optional feature anymore uh, it comes just like with the blue automatically which i think is going to be uh beneficial because generally these are um they're they're longer lasting generally especially in the cold in the cold those wire harnesses are just not good so first first little change is the cold weather harness now the second change is right here is this, this it's this arm right this little plate or whatever for to put up your handle like this right so you hang your handle like that or you crank it up or crank it down right but this arm specifically and you can see now it's one piece so they they basically i think mill out or cnc or something or laser cut or whatever however they manufacture this but essentially it's just one piece of steel that they just now cut out with this size and then they just put this tube through and just weld it right here right and that's how you get this setup now what's really interesting is this uh the old version what they did is like you guys got to think about like an employee has to sit there and weld instead of just seeing seeing or whatever milling out one piece right and here look so you still have the tube right here that goes through this and that's what so they still have to weld that but if you notice right here it's a different type of like hook where your arm where this thing sits and you can see it's welded on the back right here uh maybe you can't see that whole right here it's welded so a super small subtle change but it's nice seeing that because that what that means is it basically like when when cost is a factor right it's like imagine now they have they don't have to pay that employee to sit there and weld all these little brackets and so overall that probably you know cuts down their cost either they can sell the trailer at the same price and increase their margin or they could actually sell the trailer at a cheaper price now this is an 8,000 pound torsion axle trailer and that's actually a 7,000 pound leaf spring axle trailer but this trailer right here was it was supposed to be a leaf spring trailer you see how the this bracket here is this was supposed to be a leaf spring trailer and on my new torsion axles the 2021 models they don't have this uh this like c channel it's welded it's like welded like this you know uh so it's like a or a u channel no c channel right <laughs> a u channel yeah so it's c channel that's welded like a u on there so basically the new ones don't have that piece of metal and I guess this could be in part because this one I ordered possibly halfway through production, whereas my new ones I ordered from new from the factory right away is torsion. So that could be some of that, but still that just means that my new 16 GN torsion axle trailers are lighter than this trailer. So again, important money savings, cost savings, weight savings. So really, really like small, like you paying attention to these small details, you know, um, what's that? I, I remember when I was selling insurance, it was little hinges swing big doors. Okay. And so that's why you want to like what paying attention to small details like this is super important. So you might be thinking, Alex, okay, that's great. You're noticing some little things here and there. And overall, it seems like you're happy with your big techs, which I am. 
but what else could they be doing? What other small changes, in your opinion, do you think big techs should make? <laughs> well, <laughs> good question. I don't know if you were actually thinking like that, but, but still look, on this toolbox, you see this right here? There's no lock, um, just because those locks are junk. And let's walk over here. On this toolbox, you'll also notice that there is no lock either, because these locks, I'm telling you, they are garbage. <laughs> like, Big Techs, please, uh, maybe, maybe, you see, right here. Just new trailers, just these locks, they jam, they're too intricate, they're not, you know, just absolute trash get rid of these locks but since we're up here like everybody not everybody but most of the trailer manufacturers are mounting these jacks on the outside and yes granted this does do a cleaner look it looks a little nicer but when you mount the jacks on the outside a lot of people use up the whole space in between the two main beams for the toolbox and I would really, really like a slightly bigger toolbox. So overall, I am pretty happy. You know what I mean? No complaints. I still get the occasional, like the welds right here. You see on this, because like this is where all of the weight is. Like sometimes these welds crack. I've, you know, I've shown that before. And I think it's because they only do like a, a small spot weld here, spot weld here, and a spot weld here on the inside. On the outside, they weld the whole thing. Oh, it's not even welded at the bottom. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so I mean, there's obviously going to be some some my, like quality control uh, improvements that are going to need to be happen. I looked at a at least on an owner operator a couple weeks ago, and the owner operator had a uh, what was that, a Gator made trailer, and looking at the Gator made trailer, <laughs> it was one of those things where it's like it's overbuilt. It's nice, but that owner operator can scale like. 900 pounds less so instead of taking instead of being able to take 9800 they can take 79 no 8900 sorry so right around like 800 800 900 pounds less so like even though you know there's tons of competition right now in the gooseneck trailer market and and there's no there's not much availability because they're all, all on back order and whatnot there's a bunch of supply chain issues still uh, I'm, I'm happy with the big techs but you know it's just we need to iron down or iron out the uh, the quality control issues. But let me know, you guys, in the comments below, what other trailer manufacturer should I take a look at? Now, don't say PJ, because PJ and Big Techs are owned by the same company. And I'm sure that integration or that like acquisition has, they started sharing ideas because of that. Because I remember PJs always came with a cold weather harness. So it's like, maybe that's because of that, you know? So uh, don't say PJ, but like, I, I want a custom built trailer exactly the way I want it. And obviously Big Techs can't make a custom trailer exactly the way I want it for Hotshot. So let me comment below some other manufacturers that I could look into that could make me a custom trailer. All right, well, I got to get back to work, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.